Hello guys, we're doing problem 13.5 now, which is this one right here, and we are being asked to find the magnitude and direction of the initial acceleration. The formula that we're gonna use is this one, is uh, the sum of the forces in the y direction is equals to um, this equation, which is the coefficient of g times mass of a times mass of p divided by r plus the coefficient of g times mass of b times mass of p again divided by r and all of that times sine of theta we have all the given information the only thing that we need to find right now would be sine of theta and then we will be ready to plug in numbers we will be trying to find this angle right here so we're gonna do sine inverse of six divided by 10. And that will give us an angle of 36.9, which is the angle that we're gonna use. After we plug in numbers, the only thing that we need to watch out for would be the radius, which we want them in meters. So I convert the radius to 0.10 meters. Now we're going to have to use another formula to find acceleration. This is the formula that we, that we are going to use and we have to rearrange it to find the acceleration in the y direction. After we plug in numbers, we finally get... So this is the acceleration in the y direction and the acceleration in the x direction. Well, there's actually none. So to find the magnitude of this, we, we will do the square root of both acceleration, but the acceleration in the x direction while well, there's none so then the magnitude of the acceleration will be the same which is 2.1 times 10 to the negative 9 meters per second square All right thank you